Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Valify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So this is going to be uh, four stories, four updates on teachers diddling their students. I mean, I could make four standalone videos for it, but I mean, who's got time for that? So we're going to rapidly go through the four updates. So stick around for the, for the entire thing. I mean, you're going to want to do that. You're also going to want to like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel, but also consider signing up for my locals, thirdrailify.locals.com. Um, it's, it's, it's the members only area, right? Uh, so like private streams, private chats, private, the, uh, it's going to be the bee's knees. I recommend it. If you're a part of the rumble community. If you use rumble, this little button here, the join button. That's how you can get to it, or just thirdrailify.locals.com. And uh, yeah, be, be a part of all of that stuff. It's going to be great. Can't, I can't wait to really get into that. But back to this now. Remember, four stories. So stay until the end. Watch it all. So just recently, I did a story about Caleb uh, Braley. She's an Australian teacher that uh, literally just out of her wedding dress and then uh, decided to bang a student. Like she had been married less than a year. New details have emerged about that. Bombshell twist in case of newlywed uh, PE teacher, Phys Ed, Physical Education, um, accused of sex with a teenage boy as she's hit with another set of shocking allegations. A married PE teacher who allegedly sexually abused a male student, has been slapped with six fresh charges relating to another teenage boy. Now, who would have thought a teacher that bangs a student is likely to have banged other students or will bang more students in the future? It's almost like a pattern, like a trend, you might say. But Taylor Rayley, 30, was arrested last week after allegedly assaulting a 17-year-old boy she taught at Lernia High School in Sydney, Southwest, multiple times throughout July. He was charged with three charges, sexual touching, sexual intercourse with a person under her care, and aggravated sexual assault. In her court, she was actually granted bail. You kind of expect that, really. Uh, now, police have charged Braley with new alleged offenses in relation to a second student, including having sexual intercourse with a teen under her care and sexually touching a teen under her care. Now, this student is actually younger than the last one. The fresh charges also include uh, inciting a teen under her care to sexually touch her and soliciting, accessing, and possessing or controlling child abuse materials. So that means she was filming it. When the young younger boy was like doing things to her, she was like, oh yeah, you, you touch that. Touch it real good. Touch this love button the way Sean wants you to touch that local's Join button. Ah, huh? look at that. About 7 a.m. Uh, this morning, detectives attended a house in Manchurton and arrested a 30 year old woman. New South Wales police said in a statement uh, she was taken to Wollongong Police Station and charged with six additional charges. She was basically granted bail again. So it, it, it's the same strict bail conditions imposed last week. And um, yeah, so she's bound by a nighttime curfew. She has to surrender her passport and report to police. But she's already doing all of all of these things. She's still barred from accessing social media, entering, you know, the town, contacting her victims, blah, 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 blah. Nothing's changed. It's just she's charged because, you know, pedophiles be pedophiling with multiple kids. So that's that's number one. Number two. A predatory lesbian teacher is confronted by a victim in court before being carted off to prison. So this teacher was sentenced to three years. All of these sentencings are, are happening now. You, you may remember not that long ago, there was a massive space that they were calling it the cougar pandemic or whatever. And uh, a lot of the, the sentences are now being handed out. So a predatory teacher who committed years of dark and disturbing sex offen uh, offenses against female students. So, you know, it was like forceful scissoring at a California high school has been confronted by the victim in court. Disgraced drama teacher 
This whole thing is very dramatic. Um, Stacy Michelle Walker, 40 years old, was sentenced to three years in state prison after admitting to sexually abusing the pupil from 2018 until 2020. When the girl was aged 15 to 18. Walker pleaded guilty last month to sex uh, sex crimes with a minor while she worked out at uh, Mount Carmel High School in San Diego. The former student, whose identity is protected, gave a heart-wrenching victim impact statement in court alongside her mother as Walker fixed her gaze on the ground and appeared to fight back tears. So the victim says, I know it wasn't my fault. None of this was ever my fault. I was a child, your student. And you were the trusted adult. You manipulated me so deeply, it still runs through my veins. So this this lesbian predator teacher would would make um would make the the young lady take like sexy photos and videos and do the touching and and all of that stuff, and genuinely made her think that they were like in this like weird loving relationship. And uh, it, it, it broke the victim. Story number three. Private math teacher, 37 years old, who sexually abused a vulnerable teenage boy she tutored online is jailed for six years. Now, I, you know, it's, it's one thing when, when it's just a child. That sounds bad, but bear with me here. When it's just a child, it's, you know, you're going to go to hell. But when it's like a vulnerable child, that means what they have like autism or some other learning disability, some other developmental disability, something like that, right? And so they're like they're they're vulnerable. They they're a lower hanging fruit on the tree. It just it fires me up. I mean, I am a father of of, of four young autistic boys, and so when when I see people like picking on like vul- like vulnerable people, oh, it just it gets to me. It upsets me a little, you know? So a private maths teacher, tutor, has been jailed for six years after she sexually abused a vulnerable teenage boy. Holly Rouse Sweeney, 37 years old, took advantage of the youngster after tutoring him online and organized to meet him at her former home in Nottinghamshire. The court heard she then had sexual contact with him on several occasions, despite being fully aware that he was under the age of consent. Rouse Sweeney was rumbled, agitated, upset. I don't know what that British slang is. When the boy's mother found inappropriate WhatsApp messages on his phone and contacted the police in May last year. Now, often it's Snapchat, you'll find. Snapchat, Instagram. uh, This is a case of WhatsApp. There's even one case of uh, Signal. And uh, you got parents, you, you have to, it's at the point you, you have to go through, you have to go through your kids' contacts. You have to go through their messages at this point now. I mean, privacy is important and I would, I would, I would love kids to have privacy. I really, really do. However, I don't think the kids know how many people are trying to prey upon them. Kids are too stupid to know that grown-ups were trying to fuck them. You know what I mean? So you kind of you kind of have to be like, "Hey, listen, uh for your safety, uh, I need to make sure, you know, no one's preying upon you. You shouldn't be talking to your teacher in Snapchat. Why is this her why is her cervix in your phone?" You know what I mean? Officers then discovered several incriminating diary entries on her laptop in which she acknowledged the abuse and even referenced the boy's true age. Also, one thing I say is one, maybe don't don't fuck kids. Number two, don't do crime. Number three, don't record yourself doing crime. Don't film it, right? I would say don't diary yourself doing crime. That's probably a lesson that goes in there. She later pleaded uh, guilty to two counts of engaging in non penetrative sexual activity with a boy and four counts of causing a, a boy to engage in sexual activity. But she claimed that her actions had been influenced by a long-standing mental health condition. That long mental health condition is obviously the the phobia of accountability. So 
So uh, six years, and she is added um, to the sex offenders registry. And she may never contact uh, her victim ever again. And lastly here, I think we're making all right time here. Lastly, married teacher learns her fate because they're always fucking married, it seems. I think in all of this, there is like, if not married, they're about to be married. I think on, only in any of these videos I've ever done about teachers fucking their kids, I think it's, I think there's been like one girl and it was kind of like a, um, still technically wrong, but like morally you're like, ah, this, this, this one's a, this one's a, a rough one because this girl was like just out of, out of teacher's college. She was super, super young. She was single and her victim was like a few months away from being 18. Vic a victim. And I'm like, you dumb bent. You couldn't wait a couple months to fuck this person? What the hell's the matter with you? You've just thrown it your entire life away because she she got a little bit of time. And I'm like, you're never going to be a teacher again. And you 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 couldn't wait to get that dick for a couple months. But yeah, I mean, aside from that one, all of these are like women with like husbands and stuff like that. So a married former junior high school teacher has learned her fate months after she ple pleaded no contest to charges of having unlawful underage sex with a 14 year old boy on his graduation day. Nothing says congratulations. You've done it. Like fucking your teacher, I guess. Michelle Solis, 46 of California was sentenced to the maximum term of four years in prison following her guilty plea for having sex with a minor and sending harmful photos to a minor. Prosecutors have said Solis friended the 14-year-old um, on Instagram. You see what I'm saying about these fucking apps? I'm telling you, these apps are bad. So June 2021, and sent him four explicit photos of herself in the weeks before his graduation. Then, on the day of his graduation, Solis, a 20-year-old veteran educator, had sex with a boy on his graduation day inside a locked classroom. Eventually, rumors about Solace started circulating in Gridley, a city about 30 miles south of Chico, as did some of the explicit photographs of the middle-aged educator. If you're gonna if you're gonna make sex videos or sex photos, you have you have to be cognizant that eventually they are gonna leak out somehow. Where your shit's gonna get hacked, the fucking cloud's gonna get hacked. I mean, the fappening happened, right? That's that's the real thing. Um, someone's going to send it to somebody. I mean, like it happens. And what are you going to do? Right. The rumors and explicit material, which eventually made their way back to local parents, prompted the police to pursue the investigation, which included contacting the boy. For which then the authorities found the pair's messages and the pictures on the boy's phone. And then it rapidly fucking fell apart for her at that point. Um, they also discovered that Solace directed the victim to delete their communications. That never happened. They go, they, they send the photos and then they're like, ha ha, how is that for a sexy photo? You like, you like that? And then you're like, yes, yes, I do. It's so nice. And they're like, delete that. They're like, okay. And they never do because why, why would they? Solace was, was, was arrested, but released on. $15,000 bail. So Solis's attorney uh, basically was like, what? Four years? The maximum? That's that's too much. This was one time. I mean, come on. You know, can't you slap her on the wrist a little bit? She fucked a, a little kid one time. What's wrong? Like, come on. Prosecutors were like, um, actually, the uh, the 29 year age gap in this, um, you know, aside aside from, you know, it being wholly wildly illegal because it's a little boy um 30 year age gaps pretty pretty significant and um this teacher always gave him special treatment in school he was always the special one and her position as trust uh, her position as a trusted community member and her pattern of of contacting the victim amounted to grooming so that's why prosecutor said she should get the maximum sentence allowed by law and uh she did four years four years in prison she is she's gone 
So that's, that's that. Update with four stories. First teacher gets six new charges because she couldn't just stop at banging one kid. Predatory lesbian teacher gets three years for all of her shenanigans. Private math tutor who sexually assaulted a, a vulnerable teenage boy gets six years. And then this married teacher gets four. I mean, what a way to graduate, eh? Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. And do consider my uh, locals page, um, thirdrail5.locals.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.